Hey guys, Robin with Big Doodle Dreams and well, I'm obviously not in the picture behind the camera, I'm sorry. But this is a scene you see in one of my videos and I sit on this bench and I've got freckles sitting on my lap. But what you don't see is what's on the other side. And, and I just, I've gotten to the point where I'm going, I just have to share and, and, and share. So that's the waterfall. Yep, you got it. Koi. And, and these are very well established. We'll walk down there and I'll show you their size because they're really amazing. Um, so let's see. The plain one toward the right looks solid green. That is the most friendly fish in there. Uh, we've named her Goldie. The orange and black one toward the top of the screen, that's Jack. And I'll, I'll walk down, we'll go to the bench, and I will show you some of my fish. You can see I've got one kitty here, and back up here, the other one has decided to follow. So, I do want to show you this bridge. And, and I'm sure you can see the design. Now I've got the mixture of the black and the red and then also um, the stained brown color. Um, I built this. This is, this is mine. I actually built it. This whole bridge. Um, I did have a carpenter that helped me to put in the, the main um, posts. Not the flooring, the joists. Uh, my husband and I, we hung them together and, and I did the rest, but so it could be another angle from here. And and it's really cool. So I mean I'm not sharing enough here. So the the filtration is underneath the dock that we were on. One side dumps out onto this to create this big waterfall going down into the pond. But what I guess I have to show you is that on the other side is where the other part dumps out and it dumps out into this upper pond which you can see now are covered in a type of water plant and I can cover that on on something uh, you know in the future if somebody's interested this is part of filtration and and then the lower pond that also has the same amount of water plants that cover the yeah so these these two upper ponds are three feet deep the bigger pond uh, it's it's above my head. It's over five feet. It's it's very deep. Um, but these are the two upper ponds. There are no fish, just the plants for filtration. And then we'll go down to the the place where I should, yeah. See, here's the kitty, constantly, always following, and always in every video. Yep, I'm sure. All right, so we'll go down there, and I'll show you the rest. All right. Well, I've made it down here to the bench. Um, I was restaining this. You can see there's a net on here. The net is not for predators. The net is here because of debris, leaves, seeds, all that fun stuff. So this fish coming up, if, if uh, he will turn around, you can see there's the state of Georgia. Well, he'll come back. All right. Yeah, there's Goldie. I did want to show you that if I put my hand in the water, um, come here. Yeah. They will suck on my fingers. They do not have teeth. So there is no biting at all. They're not going to hurt me. They are looking for food. And I will feed them in just a moment. I did want to show you um, their demeanor, their behavior. I mean, they're just amazing. So look at the state of Georgia on, the, on, on that one's head. Now it's upside down again. Once we've named this fish Ray Charles. Georgia on his mind see the state of Georgia on his mind. Isn't that the coolest thing ever? <laughs> so, yeah, Ray Charles. Because he's got Georgia on his mind. Yeah, he's so cool. So, I did want to show you how um, I can feed them and, and how they'll take it from my hand. So, it's in my hand. I cup it. I'm going to make a little opening like that. And then I'm going to put my hand in the water. Typically, yep, which they all know. So that 
orange and white one. Sugar lips. The lipstick. Yeah, I'll go get more food. Um, I'll go get more. This one has no scales. This orange and black and white. No scales at all, much like a catfish. It's really, 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 really cool. So, um, for your fun, these guys are pretty big. They're, they'll achieve somewhere around three feet in length. They do breed and they are breeding. It's pretty cool. Um, so here, let me get more food. And then you can see. Come on. <laughs> yep, of course, Jack. Jack is one of my more friendly ones. Jack is over two feet long. And, and I do have to show you the kitty thinks that you should be eating. She should be eating the fish food. So if I take the food, I'm going to back up and you can see. So koi are really cool. Some of the mistakes that are made if you have decided that you want to have koi um, is that your pond will not be deep enough and and that's probably the biggest problem it's just not deep enough they really do need the depth um, so in our case the net everybody thinks this is for predators no not for predators it's plenty deep enough depth is probably your number one problem um, making sure that the water is appropriate so what we have here is Oh, gosh, I want to say eight or nine thousand gallons total, um, and therefore we can have up to fifteen or so fish. Now, eventually, I'll take some of the smaller because you'll see some of the uh, glare. Smaller ones are the babies of of these guys. So eventually, I will part with some um, and and change it out. See if they want to eat. Something else that people don't realize is that when the water gets to be too cold, these guys cannot eat. They, their digestion slows down so much that if you feed them in the winter, the food will actually sit and rot in their stomach. So it's really, really, really bad. Um, they're fed consistently through the summer as long as the temperature is above 50 degrees. And, and that's the typical rule of thumb. And here, where I live, the water gets to be at that fun, you know, 50 degrees and below, usually by the end of October. So all of November, December, January, February, March, and it's typically not until about April where the water stays above 50, where we get to feed them again. And, and people are so dumbfounded by that. Like, you know, they're gonna starve, they're gonna die. No, they're not. If you feed them, you will kill them. Um, they do not eat in the winter months. They also don't move around. Right now you see all the activity. They came up, they wanna be touched. They want, you know, they're, they're interested and, and curious. But in the winter months, it's far too cold. And, and they don't, they kind of all rest and sit huddled together, sometimes in a corner, and and that's that's how they deal with the cold temperatures. And that's normal, that's what they're used to, that's where they're from. Um, so, depth of your water, water quality, these, these are some really big important things. Um, in my pond, I don't know, I have to back off, but you can see there's a, a liner. It literally is a liner. And I do not have substrate or rocks, and I only have koi. You do not mix koi with multiple species of fish. That's just not something that you do. So, yes, these are beautiful, beautiful koi. And if you're fortunate enough to visit me in the summer months, um, then usually I invite you down, and, and I have the food available, and I love to, because, most people don't get the chance to, you know, put your hand in the water and, and instantly experience a fish that is willing to be touched and, and is not going to hurt you. So, it's a very cool experience. So, thank you. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed my koi. Eventually, I'll give you more 
more stuff. We do so many different things, just like as you've seen our, our great big um, dock up there and my bridge that I made. Um, man, it took a long time for me to make it, I'm going to tell you. So, and then of course the waterfall. And, and we honestly, we did all of this. The filter I set up and did myself, ran the lines, the liner, my husband dug the hole. I mean, we really did the entire process together. So, all right. Well, listen, like, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Tell me what else I can answer for you, what else I can help with. Because, man, I'll tell you what, I got my hands in so many different pots. It's amazing. So, this is, this is just one more one more piece of who i am with the koi and i t they're wonderful but they are a lot of work guys they really are I'm not gonna lie so all right guys we'll take care